Hello there, I'm your host Dan Rojas, and I'm going to be talking to you today about lenses of all types. We're going to talk about Fresnel lenses, we're going to talk about telescope lenses, we're going to be talking about big parabolic mirrors, we're going to be talking about telescope mirrors, lenses like this, we're even going to be talking about camera lenses, and what I'm going to be doing is explaining how focal lengths, how the X magnification factor of these, and how the lines per inch all tie into your solar project. probably two or three emails a month about people who want to take Fresnel lenses like this, these small page magnifiers, which are indeed true Fresnel lenses, and they want to um, basically array a whole bunch of these together in order to save the cost of using a large Fresnel lens like the one behind me. The problem with that is these lenses each have their own individual focal point. So if you look, you can see our studio lights on my chest, and you basically cannot array these together. You can't get the lights. You can get them close, but you can't get them all together. As these get further apart, that pattern is going to move in different places. These will reach maximum temperatures of around five, six, seven hundred degrees, but it is a very, very tiny area. With one of these, you can probably expect to boil about a quarter of an ounce of water, maybe a half an ounce if you're lucky. So compare that to the large Fresnel lens behind me, which could probably get a half a gallon at a roaring boil. While these are fun to play with, they're not necessarily going to serve your purpose. To answer the question about the X factor that comes with these, when you buy these page magnifiers, they uh, sell them as two different ways. They're either 2X, 4X, I've even seen some as high as 8X. And A lot of people want to know which one's best if they do want to use these for a solar project. In fact, that number, the 2X, 4X, 8X, actually has absolutely nothing to do with the sun collecting factor of these. these the size of these are what determines the sun collecting factor. The larger these are, the more sunlight they're going to concentrate in one place. So what does that number mean? Basically, with the page magnifier, they're designed to magnify type on a page. So using my hand, this is a 2x lens, and you can see that it magnifies my hand to be twice its size. Now if you take this 4x lens, it makes my hand four times bigger at the same distance. Now the way that this does that is that these have two different focal points. So if I were to take this particular lens and try to capture our studio lights to focus across my chest here, that is about 12 inches or roughly 300 millimeters. So the focal length on this would be 300 millimeters. Now if I take this 4X lens and do the same thing, it needs to be a lot closer, about 6 inches or 150 millimeters. That is basically the same way the camera lenses work. If you take a camera lens, any professional photographers know that the higher the millimeter of the lens, the more magnified image that you basically get from a distance. Now, if you take that lens and use it as a page magnifier, you're going to get the same results. A wide angle lens, like this equivalent right here, will produce about the equivalent of 16 X magnification. So this is like the ultimate page magnifier. But the focal point on this is maybe 20, 25 millimeters. So the focal length on this is very short. As the magnification goes up, the focal length shortens on the back side. That has absolutely nothing to do again with the sun collecting properties of these. What it does have to do with is how telescopes work and how camera lenses work. And in the next video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how this cheap $15 telescope can actually produce a closer image of the moon than this beautiful professionally made telescope mirror.